hour offshore from our, from our uh, regular patrol group. And turned around and came back and missed it. Land by about two hours. We had a 50 mile tailwind going out and had a 50 mile headwind coming back. And uh, so you didn't, in wartime, they didn't tell you what the weather was, they didn't tell you anything. They wanted you to tell them what you saw. That's all, that's all they wanted you to do. And so you didn't get much weather information. Uh, maybe it was severe weather, which I don't remember reporting. These local people would, in a windy night, street lights would swing up and down, and local people would call in the people out here signaling as German submarines. And uh, uh, we didn't get that into credit, but uh, we did make a flight to satisfy them that uh, uh, in, in, in part of my job was to go to Norfolk for a week or at Langley Field, and they had the plotting board like you see in the movies in, in the Battle of Lit Britain, and they record all the airplanes coming in and going out. They had that down there at Gulf, uh, and uh, in my job to go down there and identify our airplanes. And it wasn't very hard to do because they were all out of the ocean, nobody else out there. Well, our airplanes were never reported. The, uh, one night I decided I wanted to go fly and I went up to Langley Field and uh, asked if there was some flight I could go on local for an hour or two. Yeah, we've got a searchlight job going out right now and, and you can go in. So I got in this airplane and we went up about 8,000 feet and circled around Norfolk and Newport News and Virginia Beach and they had all these searchlights all around and we one over here and we'd aim at it and then dive at it. We'd move off. We never, never did catch one of them. Uh, hope the British could do better than we did. Uh, 